What's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna show you how to connect your essentials products to your smart assistant devices, allowing you to control your lights with voice commands. In the first part of the video, we'll show you how to connect to Apple HomeKit devices with Siri. Secondly, we'll cover the Google Home app to connect your Google Nest devices. Then, we'll go over a method that works for Google Assistant, followed by Amazon Alexa, and lastly, Samsung SmartThings. Let's get right into it. Okay, we'll start off by showing you how to connect to HomeKit and Siri. In order to do this, you'll need an Apple HomeKit device that acts as a home hub, such as a HomePod, HomePod Mini, Apple TV, or iPad, as well as your Essentials Lite. To start, make sure your Essentials Lite is connected to power, and that your HomeKit device is connected to your smartphone. Open the Home app and tap the plus symbol at the top of the screen. Tap Add an Accessory and enter the pairing code for your Essentials device. For Essentials light strips, this can be found on the back of the controller and by the side of the base for the Essentials bulb. You can either use the camera to scan it or manually enter the 8-digit pairing code. It'll take a moment to connect, then you can choose a room location to place the light. After that, you can give a custom name to your Essentials light which can be used for voice commands. We recommend that you don't include the room name in the light's name because saying the room name will control all devices in the room. Once you've entered a name, tap continue and you'll be able to choose different light automations. Tap continue again, then done, and you now have full voice control of your essentials. So if you want to change the color to taupe, say, hey Siri, make my lights taupe, or whatever color you can think of. I mean, if taupe's an option, nothing's really off the table. To change the brightness, say, hey Siri, dim the lights, or hey Siri, make my lights brighter. If you want to get specific, you can actually control it by percentage. So if you want it at half brightness, you could say, hey Siri, make my lights 50%. Oh, and just to save you some time, it doesn't go brighter than 100%. Next, we'll show you how to connect to Google Nest devices, such as the Google Home, Home Mini, and Nest Audio. You'll need your smartphone, your essentials light connected to power, your Google Home Hub device, and the Google Home app. Once you're ready, open the Google Home app. At the top left, tap the plus button, then set up device, followed by set up new devices. Then choose a home to set up your essentials light and tap next. Select set up smart lights and choose the lights that you want to connect. Once they're selected, they'll start to blink. Then you can choose the room your lights are in. When you're done, tap next. You can then create a name for your light that can be used for voice commands. Again, we recommend that you don't include the room name in the light's name. Tap Next once you've chosen a name and your light will begin to set up. Tap Done at the bottom right corner and you're good to go. You now have voice control of your essentials through Google. To turn the lights on or off, say, OK Google, turn on the lights or OK Google, turn off the lights. You can adjust the brightness by saying, OK Google, dim the lights, or OK Google, make my lights brighter. And to change the brightness by percentage, say, OK Google, make my lights 45%. Now, this next method applies for the Google Assistant app, Amazon Alexa, and Samsung SmartThings. It will allow you to connect to Smart Assistant apps on your phone without the use of a physical speaker or smart home hub. If you already have a NanoLeaf thread enabled setup like lines, shapes, or elements in your home, or you have a canvas or light panel setup plus an additional thread border router in your home, like the HomePod Mini. To start, open up the NanoLeaf app and ensure that your device is on firmware 6.1.2 or newer. Make sure that you're logged into your cloud account, which should display your username at the top of the menu, and have Cloud Sync on. Next, click Thread Network, and ensure that your thread border router as well as your Essentials device are both connected. Now, if you're using the Google Assistant app, tap on your username icon at the top right corner of the dashboard. Scroll down and select Home Control. Then, tap the plus button at the bottom right to add a device. Search for NanoLeaf Smarter Series. Then you'll be redirected to a login page. Enter your NanoLeaf account info, then tap Allow to let Google control your NanoLeaf devices. Tap Back at the top left corner, and you'll notice that your Essentials device is now connected. If you tap on it, you can give it a nickname for voice commands. Now, you can speak directly into your phone by saying, OK Google, and giving a command. To change the color, say, OK Google, make room lights turquoise. To change the brightness, say, OK Google, make room lights brighter, or OK Google, dim room lights. And then you're good to go on Google Assistant. 
If you're using Amazon Alexa, open the Alexa app and tap the Devices tab at the bottom, followed by your Smart Home Skills. Tap Enable Smart Home Skills at the bottom, and then look for Nanoleaf in the options. Select it, then tap Enable to Use. You'll then be redirected to a login for your Nanoleaf account. Enter your info and tap Allow to let Alexa control your device. Tap Close, and then Discover Devices. Alexa will then look for devices to connect to. Once it's complete, tap Done at the bottom. If you tap Lights in the Device tab, your Essentials light should now be connected through Alexa. Now, if you want to use voice commands, tap the button at the top of the main menu, then say Alexa, followed by a command. To turn the Essentials on or off, say Alexa, turn on the lights, or Alexa, turn off the lights. And again, you can adjust the brightness by percentage. So you could, for example, say, Alexa, make the lights 75%. And now, you're all good to go on Alexa. Lastly, if you're using Samsung SmartThings, open the SmartThings app and tap the plus to add a device at the top right corner. Scroll down and select Lighting. Scroll down again and select Nanoleaf. Then tap Nanoleaf Smarter Series. You'll be redirected to the Nanoleaf account login page. Enter your account info, then press Login. On the next page, tap Allow to let Samsung control your devices. Tap Done when your connection is established, then tap Done again at the bottom right corner. Press the back button until you reach the main dashboard, and now you're good to go on SmartThings. If you're on a Samsung device, you can use voice control with Bixby. You also have the option to connect SmartThings with Google Assistant or Alexa. Tap the menu button at the bottom right, then tap Voice Assistant, you can then connect to either of the two apps and use the same voice commands mentioned in the previous sections. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Now you can officially turn off your lights by simply saying, turn off my lights. Whoa, oh, oh, hey, that's pretty cool.